everybody to Clutch Cut Picks week number 11. I am very happy because my team last week, they got a very, very exciting W over a very, very good team. So I'm stoked. I hope you guys are stoked. Let's get into this week of Clutch Cut Picks right now, everybody. Browns and Steelers, the Thursday matchup. The Browns won last week against the Bills, which shocked me because I think the Bills have a pretty solid defense and the Browns have a pretty eh not so good offense and they have the Steelers who won against the Rams the Steelers have been very good surprisingly after Ben Roethlisberger going down and Mason Rudolph had to step up and even he got injured and he had to sit out for a couple weeks but he's back and he has this confidence which I think he found in the Miami game and I think that's going to help this week I don't see the Browns offense succeeding against the Steelers defense with Minka Fitzpatrick performing superior since he got traded there and then he got TJ Watt and he got plenty of other studs on that defense so I don't think the Cleveland offense is gonna light the world on fire against them I think the Steelers will beat the Browns 27 to 10 Cowboys and Lions Lions did not win they lost to the Bears the Bears defense stepped up like how I've mentioned so many times they're a roller coaster defense they're up and down up and down they were up last week against the Lions and then you got the Cowboys who played a very good game against the Vikings and they used their receiver receiver duo Amari Cooper and Randall Cobb very well but it did not succeed in the end because Kyle Rudolph was going off for the Vikings Dalvin Cook did very solid so that was a very fun game but it came down to a loss for the Cowboys they tried to make a last attempt at a Hail Mary and that got intercepted to end the game but this week you got Cowboys facing Lions the Lions are just trying to, you know, fight for every win. They're like not terrible, but they're not amazing. And then you have the Cowboys who are fighting for a playoff spot. They got great offense. They got a great offensive line to protect Dak and one of the best running backs in football, Ezekiel Elliott. Their great receiver duo that I already mentioned, and Amari Cooper, Randall Cobb. With all that against the Lions, I think they will get the victory 24 to 20. Bills and Dolphins. The Bills lost to the Browns last week. I already mentioned that. And the Dolphins beat the Colts. I could not believe that. The Dolphins, I thought for sure we're going to go winless this season. But this is their second one of the season now. But I don't think they'll be getting a win against the Bills. The Dolphins offense is just so low, low, low in talent compared to the rest of the NFL. And the Bills defense is pretty good. So I'm going to give the Bills the win 20 20 to 16. Jaguars and Colts, another division rivalry, just like the previous matchup too was also a division rivalry, the Bills and Dolphins. But this one, Jaguars and Colts. Colts, they lost, I mentioned that. They started Brian Hoyer because Jacoby Brissett is injured, and I think he's still going to be injured this week. But you know who's not injured? The GOAT, who took down the Patriots in the Super Bowl, Nick Foles himself, people. He is returning from injury now on the Jaguars, and I think he will do good. I think he will do pretty solid. He's got a solid group of young receivers there in Jacksonville, and the Colts without Jacoby Brissett, they're not looking too hot. So I think the Jaguars will pull off the victory and win 23-19. Falcons and Panthers, another division matchup. The Falcons, they surprised a lot of people last week because they beat the Saints. Not led by Teddy Bridgewater, led by Drew Brees, who's been back. And that was just very shocking, especially with the season that the Falcons are having. I can tell you, Art was very surprised by that. I was with him when the game was going on. We weren't watching it. But he was paying attention to it, and every he was like, dude, like, how's this happening? And also, if you want to see that picture that I mentioned a couple weeks ago of that bet that Art and I made, Seahawks-Falcons game, he lost, by the way. Go to our Instagrams. I'm at Kleshka. He's at 21AGM on Instagram, and you can see a picture from that bet. So make sure you go check that out. But this week, the Falcons, they will be taking on the Panthers. The Panthers lost to the Packers because Aaron Jones just had a day. And I think the Panthers are going to beat the Falcons because they got Christian McCaffrey, who's performing like an MVP running back. And he's basically carrying this team. Kyle Allen has been a solid quarterback, enough to get the job done. And I don't think the Falcons are going to have back-to-back -back weeks of just surprising wins. So I think Carolina will pull off the victory and beat Atlanta 24-13. Broncos and Vikings. Broncos were sitting on the couch last week. They had a bye week. And the Vikings, we mentioned them earlier, they played the Cowboys in a great game. And they got the victory. They got the interception to seal the victory. And this game right here, the Broncos, Broncos, they're performing pretty low. Their starter, Brandon Allen, is not what you want in an NFL season. This guy doesn't have a lot of experience, and it's just tough for a team.
game like when they're in this situation. And the Vikings are quite the opposite. They got Kirk Cousins who's performing hot lately. Then he's got Stephon Diggs. He's got Dalvin Cook, Kyle Rudolph, a great offense there in Minnesota. And I think it's going to be an easy win for the Vikings. I think they will beat the Broncos 30 to 17. Texans and Ravens. I think this is going to be the game of the week, people. Lamar Jackson, the Sean Watson. This ought to be a very fun game. Tons of epic quarterback action. And then you got solid running backs, Carlos Hyde, Mark Ingram. DeAndre Hopkins is going to be involved. Sucks that J.J. Watt has to miss this matchup. I would love to see him try to get to Lamar Jackson if he is that great defensively. Or if Lamar Jackson would straight up embarrass him and do spin moves and juke moves to get around him. How much fun would that be to watch? I bet it would be fantastic. Okay, I think it's going to be a shootout. I think it's going to be a lot of fun, folks. So, the Ravens, they won last week. They played the Bengals and the Texans were on a bye week. So the Texans are feeling fresh, but the Ravens are feeling super, super confident. They not only beat the Bengals, they destroyed the Bengals. And Lamar Jackson had one of the best uh, whoop, spin moves of all time. That thing looked nasty and he scored on it. So that made it even more impressive. And I think with all this confidence that the Ravens are riding on and how great Lamar Jackson is doing, how can you lose? Even with the Texans and Deshaun Watson being a very good quarterback, I think the Ravens will beat the Texans 33 to 23. Saints and Buccaneers, like I said, the Saints, they lost last week. That was very surprising against the Falcons. And the Buccaneers, they beat the Cardinals. They got an interception to seal the game and give them a victory. And now they are taking on New Orleans. New Orleans was quite embarrassed last week, and I don't think that's going to happen again, especially when your quarterback is Drew Brees and you got a receiver like Michael Thomas. I don't see that happening. It's, they have too much talent on that team. The defense is pretty solid. So I don't think a team like the Buccaneers is going to beat them. I think this is going to be a revenge game for the Saints, not against the Buccaneers, just revenge for themselves. Like, they're not going to let this happen two weeks in a row, so they're just going to take it out on the next opponent they play, which happens to be the Buccaneers. So I think the Saints are going to win this game 31-20. Jets and Redskins. The Jets won in a battle of New York last week. Sam Darnold performed very well, and that led to the rest of the team performing very well. The defense was actually pretty solid, too. You might not see it in the points, but they looked good. They had strips, and they had sacks, and they were scoring defensively. So that's why I'm saying the defense played pretty well. And Redskins were on a bye week. They're going to be starting Dwayne Haskins for the rest of the season. Get him used to the NFL. Let him get more snaps. Get the reps. And just, you know, hopefully that'll provide him with the experience to be a better quarterback. But this week. The Redskins have been performing so bad all season that I don't think they're going to beat the Jets. And the Jets just got that victory over the Giants, so I think they're feeling great. Sam Darnold's confidence has to have gone up after he played so well. So I think against the Redskins, the Jets will win 26-12. to 49ers and Cardinals. The Cardinals lost to the Buccaneers last week, and the 49ers lost to my Seahawks, baby! We handed them their first loss. I just have to go into that because we have a bye week this week, so I can't can't talk about us beating them. I got to do it right here in the 49ers game. Oh my goodness. That game went to overtime and the 49ers could have won it, but luckily their kicker, he had not missed a kick the entire game. And I was thinking, I was like, if there's any time for him to miss a kick right now, would be great. And he goes, whoop, and completely misses that thing. That gave us another chance. And then we kicked the game winning field goal and handed San Francisco their first loss, baby. And then we got the Cardinals, who, like I said, they already lost. And they just recently played the 49ers in Arizona. The 49ers won that one. This time they're in San Francisco. And even though the 49ers lost last week, I don't think they're going to lose to a team like the Cardinals. I think they got enough talent and have a a good enough record and confidence to be a team like Kyler Murray's Cardinals. So I think this is going to be a dominant game, a comeback game, just kind of like the Saints. They didn't want to lose. They lost. So now they're taking out their revenge on their next opponent, which happens to be the Cardinals. So I think the 49ers will beat the Cardinals 30 to 13. Bengals and Raiders. The Raiders won last week, getting a last minute touchdown from Josh Jacobs to secure victory. And they got the Bengals who were completely embarrassed by the Ravens. They're no longer they're starting Andy Dalton. They're starting a new young kid. I think his name's Ryan Finley. I forget his name. But the Raiders have been 
pretty much in the middle of the pack this season and the Bengals have been all the way buried six feet under and not looking good at all. They've been without AJ Green, Joe Mixon is not performing, Andy Dolan has finally been benched which was probably needed to come anyway and I think the Raiders have a good enough team and with Josh Jacobs being a very very talented young rookie and Derek Carr performing pretty solid I think the Raiders will win 27 and 19. Patriots and Eagles both of these teams were chilling on the couch last week because they were both on bye weeks. The Eagles, they have been a roller coaster team. Sometimes Carson Wentz looks good and sometimes he looks really bad. Tom Brady and the Patriots have been really good. They have been the best defense. Tom Brady has not been performing lights out, but with the defense performing as well as they are, he doesn't really need to. The defense has been insane. They've been crazy. You can compare them to the 2015 Broncos, the 2013 Seahawks, and any other great defense from previous years. That's how good they're doing. Except, you know, last time we saw them, Lamar Jackson thought, <laughs> I'm gonna change that. But this week against the Eagles, this team is just so not impressive and the Patriots are very impressive. So I think the Patriots will beat the Eagles pretty easy, 24 to 14. Rams and Bears, the Bears won last week against the Lions. Mitchell Trubisky actually threw three touchdowns and he only had two in the previous four games. So that's a great, great confidence booster for Mitchell Trubisky. And then you had the Rams who could not get it done against the Steelers. The Rams are also kind of a roller coaster team this year, which is kind of hard to believe because they were just a Super Bowl team. But Jared Goff, he is dropped in uh, his status and Todd Gurley is banged up, but he's still Still trying to do his best. Cooper Cup has been great and Gerald Everett has stepped up but it's not all clicking this season. I don't know. I just don't see the same Rams team as last year and with a tough defense that has good defensive players on it I think this is going to be a tough one for the Rams but I also think it's going to be a tough one for the Bears because the Rams also have a solid defense with Jalen Ramsey in pass defense, Aaron Donald at rush defense. They got studs everywhere and that's just two players that I named. There's way more than that in the Rams defense. So I think it's going to be a low scoring affair and I think the Rams have more talent overall offensively and defensively and the Bears had their struggles with defense and Mitchell Trubisky. So I think the Rams will beat the Bears 19 to 10. Chiefs and Chargers. The Chargers lost to the Raiders last week. They were victims of that last minute Josh Jacobs touchdown and they had the Chiefs who played the Titans Patrick Mahomes returns and you're like oh no way no way they can lose Patrick Mahomes is back and against a team like the Titans how could they lose but Ryan Tannehill he came out there and he threw a game-winning touchdown that put him up by a point and they didn't want the PAT they wanted to be up by three you know to protect themselves from a field goal so he himself runs in the two-point conversion and then the Chiefs they go down the field a little bit and they get Harrison Butker in there trying to tie up the game all they got to do is kick it in they can go to overtime but no the Titans block the kick and the Titans beat the Chiefs that is just crazy anyways this week it's the Chiefs Chargers and the Chargers uh, from a fantasy standpoint I have been so frustrated with them because it hasn't been one game that frustra frustrated me with them it's been weeks where I played different types of Chargers players or defense or defense against the Chargers and they let me down every time. It's like I'll play a defense against the Chargers because I'm like, oh, the Chargers have been sucking lately, so let's play this defense. But no, the Chargers do good that week. And then I pick up the Chargers defense because they're playing a bad team and I'm like, okay, come on. They couldn't do that bad. They're playing this team. But no, they, of course, do terrible and the bad team does good against the Chargers. And then when I pick up Chargers players because I have other teams on a, or other players on a bye week then those Chargers players do really bad so I really really have a bone to pick with the Chargers anyways I don't see the Chiefs losing again it, maybe this that last week was just a game for Patrick Mahomes to refresh himself and get used to being back from injury because it's the first time he's been injured in his career and returning from an injury and this offense is so talented with Tyreek Hill Sammy Watkins Hardman all those great receivers out there that are young and quick and then you got LaShawn McCoy running for them. You got Williams. And that whole team is just very talented. And the Chargers have had their struggles, but I think they'll try and stay in this one. I think they'll be pretty close, but I think the Chiefs will win in the end, 34 to 27. Well, everybody, thank you so much for watching Clash Capix week number 11. I am so satisfied with our win last week. Russell Wilson, he almost blew with that interception, but luckily, 
the defense kept fighting and that gave him another chance to get Jason Myers to kick that game winner baby if you made it to the end of this video then I want you to comment what your favorite moment from your favorite team was this season so far because this has been mine I really really love that win because we needed it so bad like the video everybody subscribe tell your mom your dad your grandma your grandpa your pets your friends everybody you know I got this and I will see you next time Thank you